Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Wired. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 2492, minimum score of a path between two cities. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I've taken the first example from the Leak Code website. So in this problem, we have n cities. They are numbered from 1 to n, right? We have four cities. So we are numbered from 1 to 4, right? Then this is a bidirectional graph, which is nothing but undirected graph, right? We could see the representation here, right? We don't have any direction here. Then we have distance, which is nothing but the weight between two cities. So basically, we need to find the minimum distance between any two cities in the given input. So here we could see the minimum score is 5. So we need to return 5 at the end, right? Now we will see how we are going to do this. So here in this problem, I'm going to use BFS approach, breadth-first search, right? So here I have created a dictionary representing the graph. This will be the CTA and these will be the connected nodes and the corresponding scores associated with that particular connected node, right? So for example, here we have CTA1 and this is CTB2. So the distance between 1 and 2 is 9. That's what we have created here, right? Then I will be having a queue where I will start with 1, right? So I will be appending 1 into the queue directly. Then I will be having a visited set to keep track of the visited cities, right? Then I have four variables. Here current will be representing the current node and the adjacent will be representing the adjacent city of the current city right then the, the score is nothing but the distance between current and adjacent city a and city b right minimum will be infinity at the start i will initialize minimum score as infinite right so now we will start so initially i will pop the top element that is one so one will be the current node the current node i will be visiting right now i will visit adjacent node of one what is adjacent node of 1, 2 and 4, right? 1 is connected with 4 and 2. We could see that in the created dictionary, right? So first I will get 2 and 9. So my current adjacent node is 2 and score is 9. Now I will check whether my adjacent node is in my visited set or not. No, it is not there, right? So I will take and append that adjacent in my visited set. So 2 will be appended to the visited set. And also I will append 2 to my queue. Then after that, I will take minimum between the current score and the minimum variable itself. So minimum variable is infinite. Then 9 is the current score. So now I will update my minimum score as 9 right now i will visit the next adjacent node of city one so what is the adjacent node it is four right so i will make my adjacent node as four and the distance between one and four is seven that is the current score now i will check whether my adjacent node is in my visited set no it is not we haven't visited four so i will append four in my visited set as well as in my queue then I will take minimum between the current score and the current minimum score. That is 9 and 7. Since current score is minimum, I will update my minimum score as 7 now. Now I have done with all of the adjacent node of 1. From 1, I have visited all the cities. Right? Then I need to pop the top element from my queue. That is 2. So 2 will be my current city. Now I will try to go from city 2 to all other cities I can. So the first city I can visit from 2 is 1. So I will make my adjacent node as 1 and my current score is 9. Now I will check whether I have visited 1. No, I haven't visited. So I will append 1. I will append 1 in the queue. Right? And we can also append 1 at the start itself in the visited. This is also possible. Right? So it works both the ways. 
since the problem statement says we can visit multiple times so i tried to append the one some state when i visit one of the nodes right so it's not a problem so the current score is 9 so the minimum between 9 and 7 is 7 so i don't have to update my minimum score then i will visit the next node from 2 the adjacent node that is 3 so my adjacent node is 3 now the score between 2 and 3 is 6 now i will check whether i have visited 3 or not no i haven't visited so i will append 3 here right and i will append 3 in my queue as well now i need to check the minimum score between the actual current score and the current minimum score that is 7 and 6 so the minimum score is 6 so i will update my minimum score as 6 then i will try to visit 4 from 2 so the current adjacent node is 4 and the distance between 2 and 4 is 5 right since i have visited 4 i don't have to add it in my queue and the visited set but i will check the minimum score so the current minimum score is 6 the current score is 5 so i will update my current minimum score as 5 so i visit all the cities from 2 as i can now i will pop the next node from my queue that is 4 so my current city is 4 so now i will try to visit from 4 so first i will visit city 2 so the adjacent city is 2 the score between 4 and 2 is 5 so the minimum score between the current score and minimum score is 5 so i don't have to update my minimum score since i have visited the adjacent node before so i don't have to append that in my queue there was a slight confusion in this queue i just corrected that and sorry about that one so then i will visit one from four so the adjacent city will be one the distance between one and four is seven the minimum score is five so i don't have to update my minimum score and i have done with all the cities from four now i will pop one so one will be the current node so the adjacent node from one is two the distance between one and two is nine the minimum score i don't have to update anything it's five so i'll just keep on moving to the next step that is i'll try to visit the next city that is four so the adjacent city is four four is already visited so i will just check the minimum score between 1 and 4 that is 7 and the current minimum score that is 5 so i don't have to update anything so i'll just pop the next element that is 3 so my current node is 3 so from 3 i will visit 2 right 2 is connected with 3 current adjacent node with 2 and the distance between 3 and 2 is 6 and the minimum score between 6 and 5 is 5 so i don't have to update anything and also the adjacent node 2 has already been visited so i don't have to append that in my queue right i'm done with the queue since the queue is empty i'm done with visiting all the nodes so finally i will return minimum score as 5 that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i will create the graph right so i will be having a default dictionary right then we are going to take the city a and city b and the corresponding weight that is distance from the roads input right so here we are going to create the representation of the bidirectional graph right so I have to create for both the cities and the corresponding weight. Then we are initializing the minimum score, right, as infinity at the start, right. Then I will be creating the visited set. Then here we are appending one directly to my visited set. We can also do it like this or we can just leave it by not adding one. Because the problem statement says we can visit the mul same cities multiple times, right? So it still works, even if we don't add one here. Then I'm creating the queue, right? 
I'm directly appending one here right now I will write a while loop I will run this while loop until my queue gets empty so first I will pop my queue right I will pop the top element from my queue then I will visit the adjacent cities and I will be getting the current scores right that is connected between city A and city B from my graph that we created at the start right if the adjacent city is not in my visited set then I will visit that set by adding that particular adjacent node to my visited set then I will add that particular adjacent node to my queue right then I will take the minimum between the current score and the current minimum score then when my queue gets empty I will return the minimum variable right that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient so the time complexity will be order of n plus m where n is the number of nodes that is cities in the graph and m is the number of edges and space complexity will be same as n plus m right thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys